Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Patek Philippe Reference 5396R. Right off the bat, I wanted to let you know that we're here at JB Hudson Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota taking a look at this piece, and this piece is available pre-owned here at the store. I'll leave a link in the description to their website in case you want to inquire about purchasing this. So now let's jump into the watch. So as I said, this is the Patek Philippe Reference 5396R. And this watch is quite special because it is an annual calendar and also it has a moon phase and it is in a triple date configuration. So a triple date configuration essentially means that you have a date, a day, and a month being displayed all at once. Now some people argue that this complication is a bit um, over, a little like unnecessary because it, pretty much everyone knows what month it is, like that's not an actual problem unless you like woke up from a coma or something, but um, still I think it's kind of an interesting feature to have. One interesting thing is that it, it sort of plays into the annual calendar because an, annual calendar feature, because an annual calendar is capable of knowing what, uh, how many days are in each month, but it does not account for leap years. So that is a big difference between an annual calendar and a perpetual calendar. The perpetual calendar was actually invented before the annual calendar, which kind of indicates that an annual calendar is, is sort of meant to fulfill a spot in the market because they are less expensive than perpetual calendars, naturally. And I think I thought that that was pretty interesting when I found that out. Uh, it definitely shows that there's a lot of... It, it relates to the business of selling luxury watches, and that's kind of an interesting thing to take into account when you're considering the buying this piece. So this watch, going into kind of the case, so as I said, it's a 5396R, so it's rose gold, and it has a 38 millimeter diameter, which is pretty much perfect. Uh, it's definitely a perfect size, not too big, not too small. It tends to wear slightly larger than a 38 millimeter, just because it, I mean, well, it doesn't really wear like it, it just looks like it is. It's larger because the dial doesn't have that much going on. It has just kind of concentric circles, and as you see, there's various sub-registers in the actual parts of the dial itself. So, definitely also take that into account. So now I'll put the watch on for a wrist shot, and we'll take a look at the movement. I'm saving the best for last. Um, and as, you, as I said, I mean, the 38 millimeter case size is fine. I have about a six inch wrist, which is, uh, or six and a half inches probably, which is a little bit bigger than average, but I, I mean, this watch wouldn't look huge on anyone's wrist or too small really on anyone's wrist unless you had a super large wrist, but I definitely feel comfortable with that. The deployant clasp is very easy to put on. It is very comfortable. The strap overall, it's a nice leather strap. Um, but now let's take a look at the beautiful movement on this piece. So the movement on this watch is has a power reserve of 35 to 45 hours. And I think that that's pretty interesting of Patek Philippe to give such a wide range of power reserve. I've noticed that they do this for all their watches. And I don't really understand why that is unless it's a chronograph because then the power reserve actually will vary depending on if you have the chronograph on or not. But for a watch like this, I don't really understand why they'd give a range. If any of you know why they do that, please uh, let me know in the description. So as you can see, it's got beautiful Cote de Genève and a beautifully finished rotor with a little bit of perlage around the axis. It looks absolutely stunning. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. Thank you.